Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Waves 2, Italy. In the last episode we had a somewhat interesting engagement. We almost, almost destroyed a squadron, uh, or at least one cruiser from the Austro-Hungarian Empire, but uh, from the Austro-Hungarian Navy, but unfortunately they were able to slip away in the night. Again, I am hoping... Sooner or later, we will be able to force a decisive engagement. Right now, we are blockading them. So every turn, we're getting a ticking war score of, like, I think it's like 180, but I, I, I saw it earlier at 150, so maybe it compounds itself. So maybe next month it'll be 100 and, I don't know, 190, maybe 200. Either way, it is helping us in the long run. Uh, we still have to wait a while before our new heavy cruisers, light cruisers, and battleships come off the slips. Uh, it'll be 18 months before... Each of those comes off. Uh, so we're contending with what we have now. So the only way for us to gain superiority is by actually destroying them. Now, I will point out, looking here, according to the tonnage and numbers, they may have double the heavy cruisers we have right now, but they do not have double the tonnage. In fact, with just two more heavy cruisers, we would technically be... Uh, fairly close to parity with them. So I'm thinking most of their heavy cruisers are smaller. Uh, we're fairly similar in terms of light cruisers. So our, our light cruisers are evenly matched. It's only we have smaller guns. We just have more of them. So that's why half of ours are on rating because they're going to be useless in an actual engagement. Our uh, battleships are definitely better than theirs. And I would say we, we have a fairly good advantage in terms of uh, destroyers. They also have no subs. They're building one. So hopefully uh, we can uh, use these very small differences to our advantage. Uh, but yeah, there's not a lot else for, for us to do. So we just kind of have to keep going forward. Uh, we've still only lost one ship in the war. Now they have lost two. Uh, I think if we go to the Almanac here, sunk ships, they've lost three destroyers in this war so far. So we are beating them. We've all only lost destroyers, but they've lost three, so I'm good with that so far. I would like to see some larger ships on that registry, though, or on that uh, that list, though, so we'll, we're hoping. And also, what I'm planning on doing, as soon as we get a decisive engagement and we can even up the odds a little bit, we're going to be starting to plan an invasion, and we're going to try and take their non-home area, because if I call this is their home area, but this is a possession, so we can take this. So yeah, let's go to the next turn. So 5% increase in submarine reliability, that is not retroactive, so any new subs we have will uh, have that advantage. Food is becoming scarce in Austria-Hungary due to the submarine seeking, sinking the merchant ships. That is great. Uh, so, we, so every sub got a kill, uh, but they did sink four of our uh, merchants, so not as great. But either way, we were able to, to get a couple more VPs from the subs we're using. Trade disputes from raider and submarine sinkings are causing hardship and food shortages in Austria in Austria Hungary. That's what we want to see. Italian ship, uh, ooh, a raider running the blockade. Let's fight the battle. Let's see what they've got. It's probably going to be a light cruiser, and it's right in the morning. What have we got right now? It's a little overcast. Okay. Unknown ship spotted. Long range. We're going to go to full speed. Going this direction. What do we got? Is it a heavy cruiser? Looks to be. Could be a light cruiser. Oh, it's a heavy cruiser. Cruiser on cruiser. Uh, we're matched for speed. And I'm heavier by a, by a hundred tons. I also have a little bit better armor, and my guns are bigger, but he probably has better quality. Okay. Let's begin turning. So what we want to do is we want to get in right in the sweet spot. Right now our gun data, from what I recall, is if we're at 5,000 yards, we can't penetrate him. So we need to get just a little under 5,000 yards. Alright, he thinks he's got me. 
because he's not turning to run. What do we got here? Okay. Fires two medium guns. That's come of his secondaries. By the way, what are his secondary armaments? I haven't really looked. 14 six inchers in casemates. So we've got 12 six inchers, so we're a little bit low on the six inchers, but we also have 10 three inchers, which aren't going to matter at all. So. Eh. I think we also have more torpedo tubes. We have four. He's got two. Okay. Okay, we took a whole hit. Didn't do anything. We're still good. Near miss. Okay, superstructure hit. A little structure damage, but we're still fine. Those were just, uh, eight medium guns striking us. Alright, we're gonna turn a little bit. We struck him with a couple of six inchers. Maybe. I'm not sure if the six inchers or the ten inchers hit. We did strike him. We took a couple of medium hits. What's our current range? 3,000. Okay, this is perfect. So we're gonna try and maintain this distance. Okay, a couple of 10 inch hits. We're low on fuel. Another 10 inch hit. We're gonna be trading shots for a little while. Six inch hit. Two hits on us and a 10 incher on him. Got some light damage on him. We're still fine, we're still fine. Plus six inches. Come on. Okay, two hits with the six inches. We're recording medium damage, but I don't think that's what we're gonna get. Turrets are still fine. Structure damage is pretty bad. What do we add? I'll, I'll, I'll back us away when we get up to maybe. Gonna say maybe 25% damage. He is striking us. I think he is penetrating us. We're a little bit close, so we're going to try and widen the distance a little bit. I'm going to try and get up back up to 4,000. It's another hit. He's down to 15 knots, so we might have done something to him. Our guns are still good. 10 medium hits on us. 16 damage. Still striking him. Still striking him. There's another 10 incher. Okay, we're still widening the gap, so I think we're 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 good. Alright, he's slower than us now. He's running. He's running. He was on fire for a second, I thought. What was that? He's on fire. He's on fire and he's only pulling 15 knots. Got a jam turret. Come on. Keep up the fire. The more of these bastards we can knock out, the better off we are. Because right now, these are, from what I've seen, is best... Heavy cruisers. Okay, we keep hitting him. He's probably actively fighting that fire. He hasn't put any good... We're a little bit heavy in terms of my... Uh, in terms of the damage I'm willing to take, but... We've got to push it. He's on fire. It's perfect. The other problem is that we currently do not... Okay, no, our turret's back in action. Is he slowed down? No, he's still only at 15. I want to double check. What's our torpedo tubes? So we do have a forward torpedo tube. He would need we need to be exactly behind him though. Can we do a torpedo strike? Do not have the ability of firing torpedoes. We are continuing to hit him, though. It is good. We're going to peel off a little bit, get a 
get our side guns on him. He's down to 10 knots. He's not opening fire on us. They may be... They may be jammed or he may be out of ammo. I'm not sure. He's running actively, though. That, that turret's definitely jammed. I'm not sure about the front one. He's not firing back, though. Everybody's probably fighting that fire. And we've got a perfect target, because it's backlit. We, do we knocked him out! He sank! Yes! We finally did it. We knocked out one of his capital ships. I uh, get capital ships. Either way, we knocked him out. So that's one of his heavy cruisers gone, which, and what I can consider to be his best heavy cruiser design that I've seen so far. So that's gone. All right. So we got a major victory. Gain one prestige point. Increased their spending. New ship under construction. Eight and a half inch belt for a battleship's pretty shit. Uh, 20 knots, belt of five and a half, so we know that uh, class of the of that Berg class. Uh, new ship under construction. Zelta class. Okay. We gain 160 for blockading the enemy. All right. That's helped us quite a bit, actually. That gave us a better differential in terms of the heavy cruiser tonnage. Uh, yeah. Should be pretty good once we get another two out. Uh, hmm. Building another battleship, though, which I don't like. I do wish we had some intel on their... Okay, we do have some intel. Data. Any data? Okay, the Budapest class we have some data on. Six-inch belt, 9,000 tons. 19 knots. Oh, wow, this is... Oh, wow. So the Budapest class is pretty shit. This one's on... This one's okay. Like, I mean, it's still, it's still pretty bad. It's at least 4,000 tons smaller than our ship's. And it's rocking a pretty small gun and almost no armor. I mean, that armor is something that we can conceive. It's essentially equivalent to our heavy cruisers. What about the Brandenburg class? Okay, 11 inch, but they've only got three on here. Eight inch armor is better. Okay. And the Vend class. Okay, we do have this. Still pretty slow and light, but it's got 10-inch guns. 7-inch belt, though. So yeah, if we get into an engagement with the Austro-Hungarian Navy in a battle line, we'll outclass them. Every one of our ships is heavier. Every one of our ships has better guns. Sorry, bigger guns. I don't know what their guns are in terms of quality, which will affect things. So, yeah, that is something we're going to have to deal with, but I like that. We knocked out one of their damn heavy cruisers. Okay. Oh, and that heavy cruiser is also out for two months, getting repaired. It did take some damage. It took some damage. We, we put it a bit past what I was willing to go, but we had an opportunity there. And also our VPs are now far above theirs. Yeah, let's go to the next turn, see what happens. Hopefully we can keep pushing on them. I would love for them to peace out uh, from just, uh, what's the word, from just a uh, uh, morale victor, uh, like their morale faltering and the government uh, collapsing because of a lack of food. Uh, the intelligence service is considering offering safe passage for a revolutionary of some renown to his home country, Austria-Hungary. Uh, Austria uh, this will ferment revolution and may force them to the negotiation table. On the other hand, revolutionaries tend to be contagious. What do you recommend? You should be careful about stoking the embers of revolution. It may backfire. Uh, can be dangerous. Just as the enemy, lock him up and throw away the key. Give him safe passage. We're not going to try and give a revolution on them. We don't want that. 
So we'll take the prestige. Enable central firing. So we got uh, so we got a new fire control system. We'll have to after the war. The Austrian Raider. Oh, uh, not going to try and pronounce that. Uh, uh, has been interned in neutral port, so that's another heavy cruiser gone, so that's two of theirs gone. Uh, they did not sink anything for subs. We sank 13. They only sank one ship this turn. So convoy defense, large battle, Sicily. Yeah, we'll accept this. They declined. Uh, medium. Uh, what is this? Cruiser battle. I'll accept it. Okay, what do we got? Two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser. Let's hope they don't have battleships again. But then again, now that we know about their battleships and what they can do, this would be this could theoretically fight against them. So what do we got? We don't know what their objectives are, so we just need to kind of keep an eye out. We get an identified ship, we'll try and corral them in and force them into the guns of our heavy cruisers. Would very much love to get our battleships into the fighting. But they're just, every time we get a big battle where battleships would be guaranteed to join in, they just do not accept the battle because they know they're going to lose. Not seeing anything. Trying to get through here, if I recall. It's a cruiser action. Do we have anything coming up? Not seeing it. There we go. Unknown ship spotted. Give it a turn. Okay, it's moving up that direction. It's moving slightly away. We'll start moving that direction, and we'll get our main force going straight north. Would like to identify this ship. What time is it, by the way? 1400. Yeah, we might lose them in the night. That is a light cruiser. It would be their scout force. That is... Saying that is a Corvette, but it's telling me it's a, it's a Zinta class, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with what it's telling me. That would be their main force. It's telling me that's a battleship, but I'm not sure if I believe them. Yep, it's just heavy cruisers. Okay, we're turning. We're turning. What speed's he going? 20 knots. These things have eight six inch guns. What do our Marcella class have? Uh, apparently XTRG is, is messaging me. If you don't know his channel, he's a really great guy. Uh, <laughs> he's very much getting into, uh, tabletop role-playing game, or to table, not tabletop role-playing, tabletop miniatures gaming. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I have been trying to help him, so he may message me a couple of times. Okay, they're out of sight, so they're gonna come straight for me. We can get our heavy cruisers into the fighting. We're moving this way. All right, we're opening fire on the Zenta. Be the Zenta or the Zente? I, I wonder. What's he pushing? Twenty knots. It's going the same speed as our heavy cruisers. Okay, he's well out of our line of sight. We might be able to catch him. With some lucky moves. He's 
Gotta be somewhere around here. I know his main ships went down this direction. If we could get some reports as well, that'd be helpful. But we may just have to call off the fight. Yeah, because it's not going to be morning by the time the end of this fight comes up. Yeah. Let's head back to port. We're not going to get there. Oh, that's not a port. The, the circles aren't ports. The circles are just towns near the coast. You need the squares or the ports. So I guess we'll just go back to ultra fast. Go to cruising speed. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Did nothing. Apparently they got a marginal victory because they had one transport surviving. Are they up here? Oh yeah, one transport up there. Probably should just head up there and raided, but uh, no chance we would have found that in the dark. And this... Yeah, they got 129 VPs. Uh, building another 10-inch coastal battery. Another couple hundred points. for So we, we still got more v VP for blockading them. Okay. Still doing okay in terms of uh, the action. <sighs> it's still more than a year away from these uh, the first of these uh, classes to come out. We've been at war for seven months. Still only lost one ship, though, which is pretty good. Who's still repairing? It's just this heavy cruiser. Okay. Well, hmm. If I go another turn, there's a good chance there's going to be a fight. We're already pretty far into this episode, and I'm trying to make this series pretty consistent in its uh, its episode length, because I, I hate having really long and really short episodes. Uh, so why, why don't we go ahead and just end it here? We had, a, we had a really good boon. We've got our first kill in terms of an actual main ship of the line. Well, I, I don't know if you consider a heavy cruiser a ship of the line, but one of their main ships uh, destroyed in a one-on-one -on -one gun duel with, a, with our Marco Polo class, so that's actually really nice. Uh, so we have proven that ours is better. Uh, or just had a better commander. Either way. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. If you want to help support the channel, considering the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!